Hello, my name is Cadet Major Bridget Hopp, and I am a senior here at Chicago Military Academy, Bronzeville. Throughout my freshman year, I worked with the Commandant and handed out demerits, merits, and worked with him in his office and on the computer with a program called Jumps. That helped me with my sophomore year. In my position, I still worked and I did S2 work, which is safety and security throughout the building. So I walked around and I made sure everyone was in the places that they should be in. I made sure that they were following the rules and most importantly in uniform. That led me for my junior year as a battalion S2. As a battalion S2, I had to train them, train all my assistants, and I had to make sure that I ran late formation on time. And I also handed out demerits and merits on a more important level. We would constantly go outside after school and in the morning and make sure all cadets were respecting the uniform, respecting their peers, and the staff. Now I am a senior here at Chicago Military Academy, Bronzeville, and I am the Battalion S3. The Battalion S3 is the Operations and Training Officer, and I post op orders, training schedules, and I also go online and make sure that all the information is put out to the company commanders. With my job as the Battalion S3, I had to make sure all the events are planned and make sure that my assistants are posting op orders to the instructors as well. Here at Chicago Military Academy, all my positions have led me with many awards and ribbons. All the ribbons that I have in my Class A are from drill team, color guard, physical fitness, and uniform uh, performance. My personal opinion on leadership is that this school prepares you for it as long as you are willing to compromise. If you compromise with the leadership and the roles here at the school, then you will be on the path to success. This school has led me to that path because I am willing to work with the instructors. I love the work that I do, and I like being in charge. When you're in charge, you have to make sure that you don't care what other people think, and you have to, most importantly, just keep your head up and hold it high. By being at this school, I have been accepted to numerous colleges already, and I am only within the two months of my senior year. Chicago Military Academy Bronzeville is a great high school that can lead you to the path to success if you are willing to work with them. If you are not, this school is not for you. Many people think the school is for discipline issues, but they are wrong. When it comes down to being here, you have to make sure that you are giving it your all and once you do that, you will be rewarded in the end. Hi, my name is Romelo Mogoza. I am a sophomore at Chicago Military Academy, Bronzeville, and my rank is first sergeant. My position requires me to get my company together each morning during formation and make sure each cadet we have that I am in charge of is ready for the day and they're, anything they need to know or anything they need, they come to me during the mornings. Um, what I did to get my rank was I've, I was very dedicated my freshman year. I just I did a lot. I joined drill team. I did color guard. I helped out with open houses, any uh, recruitings, anything that the school needed escorts for. I always helped out with. I showed great leadership skills within classrooms, within events, any any anything that required leadership skills. Um, I am a part of the city core staff, which is basically the staff of the city. Just like any other high uh, JROTC school has staff for the school, I'm part of the staff for the city. I am the first kid, uh, first sophomore in the history of Bronzeville to make city core. My position in city core is I'm the NCOIC for the J1, which is the adjutant. I'm in charge of making sure each city core member makes makes it to the meetings. Any information is give is sent out to each cadet if they are missed if they missed a meeting or if just if we get a last minute notice about an event. What leadership has taught me was how to be a better person, how to how to 
how to do things better, basically. How when you're dealing in, when you're in a situation where you don't know what to do, your relationship skills kick in. How how to handle the situation, how to fix it, how to come up, come up with a solution. So if say there's a fight, I would help. I would make sure that the cadets broke break um break it up. We solve out the situation without fighting. We we talk it out, and I uh, sent them to the right people, such as commandant, which is the commandant. I have gained a lot of rewards over just one year. Many cadets have asked me how I have how ha I have done it, which really is, I've done a lot. Like I said, my highest award is the Superior Cadet Award, which is the top cadet of the year, which is for, for your grade level um, and my other ribbon that's higher than that is the M Vets, the American Veterans Award which is an award I got for joining City Corps. Attending uh, Chicago Military Academy Bronzeville has taught me a lot. Um, if I, I believe that if I didn't go to Bronzeville I wouldn't be the person I am today. It has taught me a lot how to be a better person in life, how to be a better person in school, how to just basically a better person. And I wouldn't be a be I wouldn't be the person I am today if I was in Air Bronzeville. Um, Lamar Johnson from Chicago Military Academy Bronzeville, and I'm the rank of a private, which is very hard for me to say because I started out my my freshman year as getting sergeant when we first got our rank, but you know, I did I made my bad choices and I really messed up this year or before this year started. Well, the reason why I'm a private, which I don't really like discussing because it's a personal matter of mine. I went to the eight knot training, which is advanced non-commissioners non officers. I went there, I passed for the whole week. As a matter of fact, I was the undergraduate of the whole training. But at the end of the training, I decided to do a very horrible and like, I lost my military bearing on switch baits, basically. Doing freshman, so I took one of the freshman base basically and switched on that, which really put people like Sergeant Holloway and Sergeant Major and Colonel Harry and the people that gives us our supplies put them at a disadvantage because they had to go out and find more things. But I'm trying to clean my act up and get ring back and try to do the best I can. And my freshman year, I became a sergeant because I did the same thing you seen Cadet uh, Romelo Miguel's do, like open houses. Uh, help out teachers get married for almost everything. I was interactive and everything. I did color guard. I did all types of other sports. I did the radio team. I did all of that. I enjoy doing all of that, especially color guard. It gives me joy. Uh, as a matter of fact, I did all, like honor guard things. Like when Mayor Daly had a little uh, meeting, I went there and did the color guard for that. But, you know, uh, bronze leadership to me is it's helped me out a lot because I used to like, I'm the type of person that sometimes act before I think, like I think our first impulse. And leadership just just makes me think it through sometimes, like what would happen if I did this or what would happen if I did that. And apparently I wasn't thinking about that when I switched those shoes. So maybe being at Bronzeville House helped me, you know, uh, discipline, military bearing, like, it has, it has made me a better person behavior-wise, mental-wise, everything. You know, I interacted in a lot of things here. I didn't have my ups and downs, but for the most part, it's been it's been okay. And well, that's it. My name is Jaleesa Tyser. I'm a junior. My rank is captain. My position in battalion is battalion adjutant S1. My responsibility is maintaining 500 cadets' personal files, making sure the battalion is in the correct uniform, and making sure everyone is in the right spot. Leadership has taught me to never give up and to keep striving to things that I want to become. CMAB has put me on a path to success that allowed me to be in a higher leadership position. Hi, my name is Jacob Smith from Chicago Military Academy, Bronzeville. At CMAB, I'm the Command Sergeant Major. Um, my job typically is every day 
at around 7 o'clock, 7.30, I start making sure everybody gets inside of the drill hall and I host a formation where I have a good